deal with plenty of snow and rough roads in Monroe. They are quickly running out of salt. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live in Monroe County now. And Kim, what are conditions like right now? Thanks to plow crews, the main roads are clear, but the back roads, they are still snow covered. And now that this storm is over, a storm of a different type is brewing. A storm calling for a change in how roads are funded here in Michigan for the sake of communities and drivers. This beer truck driver could have used those Clydesdales today. It was one of countless trucks and cars suddenly stuck after this morning's storm. It's been a pain. It's a common refrain from drivers throughout the county. At this gas station, clerk Kerry McLeod heard about it all morning. How bad the roads are and that people drive like idiots. I was just pulling in here and I had spun out right over there. Mostly just real bad, slippery roads. Uh, took a long time for them to get. Uh, salt. The Monroe County Road Commission says that's because you know there's just not enough salt out there to take care of these storms. No. And making matters worse, the price of salt for Monroe County has jumped about 250 percent. To conserve salt and money, crews waited today until the snow stopped to put down salt. You don't budget for a storm like this. You Pierce says the Road Commission, which has been criticized for its response to earlier storms, is struggling to keep up. Workers are exhausted, and he says the budget can only handle another six to eight storms like this one. More than that, and he may have to lay off workers and cancel summer road repairs. As this weather tears up roads, he warns the state needs to change the way it funds roads. We need to take money and put it into our road system. Michigan's road system is terrible. It's about 42 out of 50 states. We're at the bottom of the list, and we need to focus on this road system. To give you a visual of just how bad things are, this is the Monroe County Salt Barn. It's made to hold 10,500 tons of salt. At one time, it was full. As you can see, this pile, only about 1,700 tons left. Probably not enough. And I'm hearing this is not the only county dealing with this. This is a statewide problem. Reporting live in Monroe County, Kim Russell, 7 Action yeah, News. Yeah, still a lot of winter left, of course. So, Kim, what changes do those road commissions want to see then? That is the tough thing because the bottom line is they want more money and some of the ways they have proposed that an increase in taxes, definitely a hard sale for politicians. And also here in Monroe County, a smaller county population wise, they want to see a change in how these funds are distributed. They say it's based too much on population, not enough on how many miles of roads you have to take care of. Reporting live back to you. Okay.